Although the Grand Anse Beach is one of the island's marine reserves, the fisheries department warns it is constantly under threat. Fisheries biologist Thomas Nelson says the department has received fresh reports of illegal sand mining at Grand Anse. He says the practice has significant adverse effects on the protected environment. You would appreciate that the Grand Anse Beach and Mangrove was declared a marine reserve um, under the Fisheries Act of 19. 84. Um, it was actually declared in 1986. And uh, based on that, um, it is illegal to extract, dredge, you know, or um, remove sand from the beach. And persons can be charged up to $5,000 for this illegal activity. But Nelson says the secluded Grand Nance Beach is also a preferred site for another illegal activity, the capturing and slaughtering of turtles during the closed season. The endangered adult leatherback can reach 4 to 8 feet in length and 500 to 2,000 pounds in weight. Beginning in March, these sea reptiles come ashore to lay their eggs. Nelson warns harvesting the turtles and their eggs carries a maximum fine of $5,000. Open season actually closed um, December of last year. Not, and the 1st of March was actually the period where the nesting season started. Um, so we would like to implore or to inform the general public that the open season for harvesting sea turtles is closed. You are not allowed to harvest sea turtles. You are not allowed to harvest their eggs. You are not allowed to interfere with nesting sea turtles. The fisheries department admits it is a challenge to maintain surveillance of the Grand Anse Beach. As a result, they need the support and vigilance of people in neighboring communities to assist in alleviating the problem. Case in point, the Debara community, who has a stake in the preservation of the beach due to income brought in from heritage tours conducted at the site. So it provides a source of income, you know, supplemental income for the community. So it is really, you know, the support of the Debara community and adjacent communities as well, you know, to curb the illegal activity. The Department of Fisheries warns all persons engaged in illegal sand mining and turtle poaching should immediately decease from the destructive practices or face the relevant fines. Members of the public are encouraged to report these illegal activities to the nearest police station. Lovely St. Amy, HCS News, Channel 4.